Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Don. Welcome to Soul Night yet again. It's always going to be that one bug. Wait. Okay. Naruto! Or something. <clears throat> I mean, that effect there always seems to work best with... I mean, it always works best, period, but personally, my personal favorite way, personal favorite way of using that would be, like, the rogue, like, dodge and have that guy be in the way. I mean, with her, she just, everyone gets electrocuted, and I get this extra guy. It's as small as it can go. Anyway, sorry. I was gonna get in, I was gonna get in the, Ooh, shiny. Uh-uh, no, I'm keeping my sword. I'm keeping my giant... I'm keeping my ninja sword. But, yeah. Oh, hi there. I didn't notice you there. Where were you always there, right? Where were you... You weren't there. Ooh, that's huge. Sanders' rain gear has been going through some puberty. And these giants have been going through some super puberty. That's the stupid piece of garbage I started out with this game. With this fight off with. Ugh, Christmas, Christmas. Always the gift of giving, but it's the Christ of it's the gift of giving itself, but Naruto! Poison me. No winning with this girl. There is. I'm pretty sure there's a girl. <gasps> no. I wonder how this works. Ah, I've turned into let it go. Frozen something. I mean... Those guys were nice and everything, but... Alright, I'll just need a root of my way out of this. I didn't like dogs anyway. And I sort of do, but part, well, part of me does, but... Ooh, that's a lot of potions. I'm just drinking golf syrup just for some reason to stay awake. It's a little bit easier to carry. I don't trust that guy. 
had some run really bad deals with that guy, and I can't say he's a nice guy. Or you're not a nice guy or anything like that. I mean, how am I supposed to know? For all I know, he might be Bart Rathbone himself. No, don't tell me that's Bart Rathbone. Naruto. I don't like Assassin's Creed. Or uh, Prince of Persia styled spikes. Mm, I mean, I wonder what kind of bosses come up up in here. I mean, I think it is I have to kill these bosses first to get them in, get them in the trophy wall. I'm pretty sure they would all have obscure, weird weaknesses and everything. Okay, not a total loss. I don't have my own personal army, man. Okay, who to choose? Who to choose? Santa Knight. Mm, squirrel. Alright, I feel bad for you, but... Anyway, let's get moving. I know what the elf was gonna say. Stay a while and listen. wonder what kind of Christmas carols she's listening to. Finally, I get up to the mountains. Okay, sort of forgot about that. Not quite. Nope. Oh, elves! And abominable snow monsters. You've been on the naughty list all, all of this time again, year. I'll get my machine gun and I'll get this good gun. I'm pretty sure it's a good one. I mean, if the gun splits off in the other ways, that ape has gone through puberty. Again, I mean, the only reason I'm saying that is because of, like, muscle mass. I'm not talking about, like, seeing something I'm not supposed to be seeing on the game, like. I'm not gonna say it, like. Like, it's <sighs> parts. What are wrenches doing in here? Okay, monkey wrench time. I mean, it's painful to get yourself hit in the head with one of these things. I mean, look. It's just muscle mass, and it's just... And I don't think it's puberty, I think it is like those things have gone through a laboratory and whatnot. So I know what puberty is. Everyone knows what pu... I'm pretty sure everyone's gone through puberty at least once in their life. I right, die dead. Santas! Dark Santas. And these are normal things. 
And guys, they're like kids or something. I'm pretty sure they're kids. That's another kid. And soon enough, you're going to find one of those little big guys. Okay, so that's painful. I'm having to deal with elves and Santas. Nah. I got a bargain here. Part of me hopes I go against Frosty the Snowman. Part of me doesn't want to know how bad, how much of a dirty fighter he is, though. If he fights really dirty, then... Hmm... I've been ripped off already, so... That crystal monster... There. Yeah, that's what I meant about. Like, these are giants compared to what I was dealing with. I'm pretty sure, like, those are, like, not supposed to be normal. I'm like, what scientist plays around with... What scientist plays around with anatomy like that? Uh, genetically or otherwise. I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, the ones in... You'd argue the ones in King Kong do it... Did it to get that. King Kong... However many feet gorilla. Godzilla, he was a science experiment for... A reason, like... I mean, it's like, what do scientists usually not, I and mean, you make it so that scientists don't play around the genetics like that. What's the heavenly sword garbage? Hold on. Oh, there's the dynamite. So, um, peach. Ninja stars, some else, wrenches. Oh, gee, I mean, like with this. Now there's like a lot more weapons to look around for. And I'm not sure if all of them are permanent or not. I take a look. Hundred fifty, the name no, number never changed. These guys never changed. There's the Christmas tree. I mean like Like either there's like like the natural Angel thing like gigantism, where someone would just naturally be not massive, massive, but I mean, like, 
they're tall and they can't help it. That's just the way they are, and they're stuck with it. But then again, there's like all, and there's like it, there's like good things and bad things that would come out of it. But but what you were saying there, I mean, someone had to be playing around with that. And when I say playing around with that, I mean genetics. It's not like... That. Not like what you're thinking of, I'm pretty sure. Or, I mean like... Like to get monsters like that, I mean... Having like the having like the golem having like the goblin giants. I mean to make goblin giant and any more massive would be like go, goblin colossus. I mean, like, <sighs> I mean, I mean, the science is sort of, but I mean, the idea is know the limits. It's, I mean, like. Like, if you're gonna make it so someone can live a bit longer... Or, or... Or, like, another example would be, like... If you can make it so, like, a guy... Like, doesn't die a slow, horrendous, painful death... And if he gets old... That's one thing. But I mean, like, creating mass, muscle, mass, and it's like, that's super soldier program stuff that you don't even need to get into, that we don't even need, really. And, like, like, if you're making people more intelligent, then it's sort of this iffy gray ground. Um, it's this weird, weird ethics thing, like, like, what would the ramifications be? Like, would the last generation be stuck, not fitting in with the next generation, well, the next generation and last generation never fit in anyway, but you know what I mean, like, and we never fit in with each other anyway, but, I mean, like, I just say, like, like, if genetic engineering and chop and choose your own children, and genetically, not, like, mutilating your child. Not mutilating your child, I mean more like genetics. And it's to figure out, uh, do I want my child to be a, sav a savant? Like, super intellectual. And when all that, or would I want, want them to be basically like the Hulk, almost. 
only without the whole anger management issues. Oh, come on. Alright, good. Don't keep the change. I want that myself for the next time I have to deal with you. Like, that right there is wrong. I mean, making something massive just to... Just to be massive is wrong, basically. We don't need giants. We don't need giant humans. We don't need giant... Anything, really, but... Well, on the other hand, it would be pretty... On the other hand... Well, it wouldn't be pretty specifically, but... I mean, and... There's gonna be some certain... points, like... If we can figure out how to do it to animals, we can figure out how to do it to people. Well... Sure, sure. Rats and humans have have sort of a similar her her life something or other. Or you can study stuff on rats and such that you can figure out. Like, all right, so. So with rats, something happens. We can make it so that this something happens. And like keeping with the whole gigantism. And like like we found a way to make it so that this rat can become um like a rat's rat. Like a monster rat or something like that. And and you find a way to keep that thing. Like in like you just get both parents. Like, like, yeah, I do also believe that the whole thing of genetics can be subjective, too, because, like, like, your parents having one thing, you not having think something like, like, there's mutations, too, but... And like the gigantism, but if you're finding ways to genetically alter it, so like you have a rat the size of an elephant. I just inspired some scientists to do that, didn't I? Oh, Lord above, I should just keep quiet about my these ideas. And this what's next in the after? And the Australian mouth back. We're gonna have to deal with giant rats. Not we, you guys. I mean, like, if we do make it so, like, rats can do certain things as well as humans. That went down, that went down fast. Went bad fast. Cat. 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 <gasps> Good. Finally. I mean, it depends on the thing you're doing with the rat. Are you going to be doing something to make it so that that their immune system is just better than everyone else's? 
keys make it so they're naturally more uh, in certain terms manly than others or um, likable there that's I was trying to think of some way of saying in something without saying it I just said it that way likable in that way I mean, like, certain things, certain things. I mean, and yeah, sure, they say certain bacteria can make, make you more socially acceptable, more prone to not giving up. Made rats more prone to, the, to have the never-say-die spirit. Make it so they're less promiscuous, meaning less likely to cheat on their spouse or something like that. Why did I say that out loud? But like. Turning those pigs into reindeer? What was that supposed to do? And then there's the whole thing of like... And also there would be like... You'd then you'd have to figure out who wants to be a willing participant to like experiment to make it so your son is more something or other than you are. And basically, like, if it's experimental, then there's going to be problems anyway, because you can't figure out. Because, like, the sci if the scientist says, oh, it should do something like this, that, the other. But it doesn't do exactly as said, like, like certain symptoms or side effects that's come up after the whole genetic experimentation and that you didn't think of like oh yeah you're supposed to be more socially acceptable well you're more muscular you're more attractive shall we say But there's going to be some side effects like you're just going to be shorter than everyone else. And you'd be sort of like a mime. And, and there's going to be the risk of being paranoid. Right? Because of something or other. I mean... I mean, that's like doing it with something. I'm not sure what, but if it's genetics that, like, okay, it's proven this does that, uh, like, 
hearing some ads on the radio. I'm not sure exactly where. Well, 1470 specifically, but like they say, like some kind of membrane in jellyfish, which makes it so there's more like better memory, retention, and stuff. Like it's for people that have problems with aging. And, and losing part of their memory or losing their re losing recall and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure there's going to be s some side effects, but nothing too severe, you can say. I mean, like, if it's like total recall, like, oh, you remember every last detail of everything that happened in your life. There's going to be some traumatic experiences you're going to be going through at the time because traumatic experiences will always be coming up because as now you're taking this somewhat genetically proven thing, this scientifically proven thing that genetically says is okay, now you're going to forever be able to remember things and also like would the thing also be genetic like Why am I going off of this tangent of genetic engineering? And, but also, like, there's a complete and total, like, hybridization. And shoving two complete and total and the unrelated like, animals together, like sheep and goats, before they're even born. And making it so like the kid is the kids and are this like goat sheep mix up but that's just really crazy and, and like I'm pretty sure genetic engineering is, is there as long as as there were like needs to do the genetic engineering. I mean, how do you think it is that we found out uh, about making mules? You know, goats and, or not goats, donkeys and horses. I mean, that's also how we found out, like, oh, like, oh, your kid's never gonna have, have kids because, well, He's a mix between these two things, and and so like, if you want kids, you're gonna have to find a way to go get. If you want kid, if you want grandkids, you're gonna have to have another child. that shares enough genetic material with you that, I mean, we also found um, like, it was only the boy donk, boy mules that can't earn the girls hmm, it's possible, sure But it's not exactly like keep, like only with your fingers crossed. Unless is it really gonna happen? Only if you have your fingers crossed enough, good enough, then then there would be a hope that when a girl would have it. But like like I'm pretty sure now they're gonna want to go for like mythical creatures and such. Like, I mean like. Like you say, like dragons and gargoyles and sirens, mermaids. For those who don't understand it, and exactly the seafaring and mythology and stuff like that. I mean, like it depends. I mean, 
And if I can have my very own and dragon or something like that, I mean that would be pretty nice. So like, where are we getting this stuff to make the dragon? And like, how big will they get? Am I able to keep one? One is a small, a small one as a pet, or are they gonna just be these huge something or others? There's like these part. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of hypotheticals, and then there's. And there's gonna be a lot of hypotheticals anyway. Think of it. Anyway, I'm just gonna. Anyway, that was just too much thinking at one time while playing a game. And just because I saw something in the game, and that made me think too much. Anyway, if you liked my odd uh, random thought thing. I'm not going to make a habit out of it. I hope not. But please like it. Say what you think of it. In the comments. You know, like either like, oh, it's already become a reality here in Ireland, say. Hey, Jack Septicai actually found a way to make it so he can adopt a dragon. And, or like, oh, don't worry. It's not happening here in Sweden. PewDiePie is still waiting forever to get his own pet. I don't know what other kind of creature would be a mythical thing. His own fairy. Or sprite. Or... Or even like here in America, like Markiplier. He's like, oh. Like saying, Markiplier's just found a way to get his own pet griffin. And, and he's still kind of miffed at it for eating Chica, but... Well, anyway, as I've said, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please comment what you think about not this whole con random thing. I didn't mean to do that. And please subscribe. And for more videos, it was possibly not of, like, the random thoughts like I just did. And as always, I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye-bye.